Hello guys, I'm back with another video on how to jailbreak your iPod Touch without voiding Apple's warranty. Because when you jailbreak your iPod Touch, Apple will void it if you try to turn it in if it's if anything went wrong or anything got broken on the iPod Touch. So basically what I'm going to show you today is um, how to like void that if it gets broken. So, what you want to do is have an unjailbreak broken iPod Touch or iPhone or iPad, and you want to plug it into iTunes. Um, if it's jailbroken, it sucks for you. <laughs> if you didn't do this already, so your iPod Touch should show up. What you want to do is right-click on it and then click on Back Up. What this will actually do is back up your iPod Touch settings like your settings that you had before you jailbroke so let's say you jailbroke it and then your iPod Touch broke or broke in some kind of way software issues maybe I don't, I don't know what can really go wrong but um let's say it broke you just plug it into iTunes and then you click on restore from backup I think that's what it says it says that somewhere on iTunes, but actually I did not back this one up. I backed up the iPod Touch that I'm filming from right now, just in case. So yeah, you just hit back up. It takes about like 10-20 minutes to transfer all your apps and music and photos and videos. It depends how much you actually have. Um, you hit back up and then you jailbreak with any kind of jailbreaking software. I recommend Green Poison. I think that's still in the beta testing stage though. Um, so basically you could do this with any iPod Touch, iPhone, or iPad. Um, so after this, after your iPhone or iPod Touch breaks, you're gonna be able to turn it into Apple and they won't know that you jailbroke it. Now do this at your own risk, because um, this is, as many YouTubers say, for educational purposes. <laughs> I will see you guys later in another video. Um, please rate and comment. Goodbye.